A remarkable story now out of South Carolina. A high school valedictorian uses his commencement address to send his school an epic message. And video of that moment has now gone viral. The teen winds up tearing up his pre-approved speech and then reciting the Lord's Prayer instead. The crowd goes wild, even drowning him out partway through. Listen here. I think most of you will understand when I say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Roy Costner is this year's valedictorian at Liberty High School in Pickens County, South Carolina, and my guest now. Roy, great to see you. Congratulations. Thank you. Good to see you, too. What, what was that like? What did it feel like when you did that and they started cheering that, you? That was an awesome moment. You can't tell from the video, but I was in tears on stage just from, from joy. I didn't expect an outcome like that. I was hoping maybe a few would clap. And then it, it blew up. And Did you get the chills? I yes, mean, I, I had goosebumps all over. And uh, it was, it except was, what was going on with the people behind you? Buzzkill. <laughs> they, were, they, were, they were quite fun. The, the principals, and when I tore up the speech, the administrative staff and school board members, when I tore up the speech, they immediately put their heads down because they didn't know what kind of outcome uh -huh. I would be talking about. So you had to get, you had to get them to pre-approve yes. your valedictorian speech at the school? Yes. I, about two weeks before, I, they came to me in the salutatorian, and they said that, it was required that we not talk about any type of God, Allah, whoever it may be, that we not have any type of religion talk inside of the, uh, the speech at all. So after a bunch of prayer and a bunch of devotion and time spending uh, reading the Bible, I decided that uh, I felt like it was necessary with everything that's been going on with freedom from religion and uh, contacting our school district from Wisconsin and trying to get prayers out of our schools altogether. Yeah, that's a group that's actually that had been pushing yes. to see no more prayer at any school function, school board meetings, uh, commencement, you have it, and they won. Oh, they, they, yeah, but exactly. you won in the end. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And I, I just don't understand why uh, a group like that, we, we, we're a community, we are strongly, for, like we are for prayer, for God. We had had no complaints that I know of to the district at that time. It was only because this group from Wisconsin contacted our district and said that they were sending a letter of intent for a lawsuit. And, our, uh, and it was only for prayers prior to the school board meeting. It had nothing to do with the rest of the, uh, the different types of in, inside of school and stuff right. like that. And they, did, they decided to look over their entire plan and withdraw it all altogether. They got rid of prayer from top to bottom. Right, and anything. And it, so you had planned to do this. You had decided after yeah. praying and thinking on it that you were going to do this when you got up there to give your speech. Yes. What, what did your, the speech that you submitted to the administrator say? <laughs> well, they, I, it was actually the original speech that I had that I present to them. And anyways, I just add the Lord's Prayer. And, it's just, and uh, they were accepting of it. And they said it was good to go. And I, what I found out afterwards is that it was going to be bound into a book. I thought I was going to be able to freely carry my speech up onto stage, oh. so it would not be an issue okay. where I would have to tear it or something like that. What did they say to you after you did it? Um, th there wasn't much talk, uh, just because I can't say uh, within their boundaries, just because they are uh, different. Yeah. They're state employees. How about the students? Uh, the students were with me, and uh, you can't hear from the video, but they're actually saying it with me. Uh, uh, most of them were. Yeah. Which is quite amazing. Well, some just wanted to applaud just because they yeah. loved the stance you took. And I said this on the air yesterday when we showed a clip, but it says something about the country that we live in right now that it takes yes. courage for you to recite the Lord's Prayer. At, at a seminal moment in, in your life, but it yeah. does, it does now because you had a whole group of people trying to stop you from saying that. Yes. And the feedback from the students, I mean, did they, were uh, they impressed they were at the supportive. courage it took? Uh, yes, they are, and I'm astounded still at uh, the message I'm getting even from back home, the people sitting here talk, telling me how proud they are of me. I, it's nothing special I did. I mean, if God hadn't showed down on Saturday, None of this would have ever happened. And now you're off to Clemson. Yes, ma'am. Well, there's a, there's a huge Clemson fan on our team, so go Tigers. <laughs> yes. All the best to you, Roy. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you.